You might begin the practice by taking a, a couple of deep breaths. Just to let the body settle a bit. There's been a lot of activity and those of you who are preparing to leave. But you're here now. So the breath can help remind us here. And just as with the standing meditation that we've been doing, we can first tune into this body sitting here. Feeling the feet or the legs on the floor. The sitting bones on the cushion, the chair. Letting awareness tune into this quality of earthiness of this body, where these beings were, were part of the earth. There's earth, there's bones, there's mass, there's muscle, there's weight, there's contact. Let awareness know the experience of that earthiness. There's fire in the body, there's warmth and cool. Another aspect of being part of nature. Let awareness know this quality of warmth or cool. Different, maybe, in different parts of the body. There's the water element, qualities of wetness or dryness at the edge of the body and the skin, inside the body and the mouth, the movement of the wetness, the blood. Let awareness know that quality. And there's the quality of air, 
qualities of movement. The body may be moving back and forth a little bit. And the quality of air itself moving into and out of the body. Here we are, earth, fire, water, air. Earth, just part of life on this planet. Know it. Know the experience of it. Consciousness can know this. Awareness can know this. For this meditation, I'd like to work with the breath a bit, this quality of air. Uh, But a word uh, about that before we turn in that direction. Uh, Sometimes, for many different reasons, working with the breath doesn't work so well. Sometimes for different people it doesn't work so well. And sometimes with different circumstances. Sometimes there's a lot of pain in the body. It might be distracting or the breath itself is troublesome, challenging in some way. So it's an opportunity to experiment, maybe substitute a different sense gate using some of the same directions, only looking to see how might this apply to my being with my pain. How might I work with hearing instead of the breath? So let yourself look and see what can be useful for you. And if none of this is useful, then find your own practice. You can just disregard the guidance. A practice is a practice of kind, steady, interested awareness. And for today, we'll use the breath. This quality of air. Sometimes I think when we try to work with the breath, there's sort of an attitude of... um, I don't know what, obligation or struggle, like we have to like force our awareness somehow to stay with the breath. And not surprisingly, it's really hard to do. There's a lot of tension in that. So the invitation as we work with the breath is to remember the breath as our friend. This breath that keeps us alive. Naomi Shiab Nye has that beautiful line in her poem. She talks about the simple breath that keeps us alive. So simple. So steadfast, a friend. So relentless, no matter what.
So in working with the breath, we're actually inviting ourselves to welcome this friend. To bring awareness to it, to bring attention to it, the way we might open the door and receive a beloved friend. And in that way, letting go of distractions, the mind's thinking, other possibilities for how we might focus our attention, is like um, the friend comes in and in my house, uh, there's a need to like move the newspapers and books off the couch and maybe invite the cat to sit someplace else. So we're just making room. We're making room for a friend. So now you might check in with the body and see if there are any newspapers or books or cats that need to be moved. Are there any places of tension um, where the breath could have a little more room to, to be. A couple places to look. One is there's that little curve in the small of the back. Play with it a little bit. Sometimes when we arch our back just ever a little bit, there's a little more room for the breath. Look and see if that's true for you. The same thing with the shoulders or the neck or the arms, or the hands, or maybe even the face and the jaw. Is there any extra clutter there? Is there any extra tension that could be just released, simply released? Don't get, to, don't get into a big struggle with yourself, or with any of the tension even. But is there anything that could be easily shifted that could make a little more room for your friend to be just here. The body knows how to breathe. We tend to interfere with it. our long-held patterns of tension in the body and sometimes our ways of thinking can subtly or not so subtly stack newspapers up on the couch. Make it hard for the breath to have room. So whenever we see that accumulation happening, we pause. Once again, I don't know about your cat, but I have to keep moving the cat. Move so that there's some more space for this breath to just be. And now the invitation is to be attentive and aware of this breath, just as with your friend. You might uh, really decide to put away other distractions. Turn off your cell phone, maybe. Let the dishes sit in the sink. You're just being with this friend. So for this moment, these moments of meditation, we're just being with this friend. We're just listening to it, bringing our awareness to the breath, seeing how it is, what's needed, letting ourselves be nourished. 
by this contact with our friend. So allow yourself to bring awareness to the breath as it arises in the belly. However you notice it there. If it's hard to notice it from the inside, you could always put your hand on the belly and feel the movement. Probably there's some movement there. Noticing the breath as it arises there. See if you can release any expectation uh, about how the breath is supposed to be. Including any expectation that the breath should be the same from one breath to the other. The breath is like waves of the ocean. Sometimes they're long and short, and sometimes they're short. And the only exception to that is that if we notice that we're compressing the breath somehow, if somehow we've introduced some tension into the belly, that we could release that and make a little more room for our friend. (coughs) And just as you would with a friend if you were having tea, look to see any qualities of pleasantness associated with the breath. Any sensory experience that's pleasant. This breath as it arises in the belly, what feels good? And then experiment. Can you allow it to feel good? Is there anything that's needed for it to feel better? Any tension that needs to be released? Any body posture that needs to be shifted a little bit? That could allow this quality of goodness in the breath and the belly to be more stable or more full, more rich. Enjoy it, any quality of goodness. Release any idea about what that goodness is supposed to look like or feel like. Or how perfect or complete it's supposed to be. There's no supposed to. Just investigate, look and see. This friend, this simple breath that keeps us alive. How is it? Where is its goodness? And without closing that down, 
opening awareness wider like the lens of a camera to include any sensations of the breath that might be in the middle part of the torso, in roughly the stomach or the diaphragm area. Noticing the experience of your friend as it arises there. And in particular, any qualities of goodness. Can you enjoy them? Can you make room for them? See if you can release anything that is constricting them, these qualities of goodness in the breath. Again, we're not getting into a struggle with ourselves. Just a simple inquiry. We're experimenting. How can we really deeply be present with this friend and truly enjoy enjoy it? opening awareness wider still to include the breath in the upper part of the torso, the chest area, the lungs, the heart. If there's any tension that you notice, investigate. Is there some way of releasing that? Making a little more room for your friend a little more space. Looking to see what's pleasant, nourishing, enjoying that. Opening awareness wider still to include the shoulders and arms and hands and fingers. Finding the breath there. Maybe a sense of the skin breathing, the pores of the skin breathing, or the energy that Am has been teaching us about. The simple breath that keeps us alive. How do you notice that in the shoulders and arms and hands and fingers? See if you can allow yourself to be aware, present, enjoying this breath.
bringing awareness back up through the fingers and hands and arms and shoulders up into the front part of the neck. including the front part of the neck and this whole awareness of the breath. What's it like to notice breathing there? And again, paying particular attention to any sensations that are nourishing, enjoyable, wholesome. opening the lens of awareness wider still to include the head and the sensations of the breath in the head. Noticing our friend's activity there through the openings maybe, the nose, the mouth, maybe through the other openings, the ears, the eyes, the pores of the skin. Notice if there's any uh, tendency toward tension as you get to the head, you know, um, working hard or needing some sense that you need to pull the breath in or push it. Um, And see if it's possible to release that, allowing there to be room for this breath to simply move. through all these openings in the head. Opening awareness wider still to include the back part of the neck. Finding the breath there. Don't worry about it if there's some place in the body where you can't notice the breath. We can know it's there. That part of the body would be dead otherwise. So if there's some place in the body where it's hard to find the breath, just allow awareness to simply rest there. Um, Noticing the not noticing the breath. Maybe the emptiness or the darkness or however the heaviness, whatever you experience. Just let yourself notice that the way you might stand at the doorway of a movie the- in a movie theater where the movie's already begun and everything's dark and you can't see anything. You just wait till you let your eyes adjusted. So if there's ever a place in the body where you can't find the breath, just do that. Just let awareness rest there. Knowing the breath is there. And just wait. Look and see. Be interested. 
kind, patient, open, receiving. Take a moment before we proceed further and do a quick scan of the body and see if there's any tension that's been introduced. Sometimes in my house the cat creeps back on the couch. Is there any tension that sort of crept back in that could easily be released? Easily be released. And if so, do that. Making room for a friend. Opening awareness to include the upper part of the back. and the middle part of the back. Noticing again any sensations of goodness associated with the breath in the middle part of the back. and the lower part of the back, down into the buttocks. And opening awareness down into the legs to include the feet and the toes, the breath energy of the body. This whole body sitting on the planet, breathing. a part of life, a part of nature, breathing. Know the goodness, know it directly in your experience, any qualities of goodness. Enjoy them, delight in them, make room for them. This body breathing,